So today we're gonna to be going over seven cheap fragrances that in my opinion smell 5X the price on disc counters. Now, like most designer fragrances, these are usually going to retail around the typical retail price of $80 or so. So I'm not talking about 5X that price, uh, let's be clear. Most of the ones here in this video fall well under the $40 range. Uh, most of these are actually anywhere from 20 to 25. So in my opinion, I think these have great quality and I think they smell like they're a hundred bucks or more. And for most of these, if I were to pay well over the discounted price, I would be okay with that. Honestly, I probably would be okay with paying retail for a lot of these here. I think they're that good. Luckily for you, you don't have to pay retail for these. You don't have to pay 5X the price. 20 to $25 will get you most of these. So uh, let's get into it. First up from Azaro, we have Visit. So this was a discovery that I made here within the past few months that I'm very, very happy with. My channel members are loving this one. We have a private group chat, a Discord server, uh, where we all share our scent of the days and a few of my members, shout out to you guys, have been posting this one up and loving it. So I'm glad that I was able to put a lot of you guys onto this one. Now, I've done a full review on it. You can check that video out. You guys really seem to like that review. And that's really what it's all about for me is going out there and trying to do the, essentially the dirty work for you guys. Because I said this in my group chat, but for every 10 cheap fragrances that I buy blindly that hasn't been hyped up, one out of those 10 will end up being really good. And usually the other nine are just about throwaways. That's what's so hard about going out there and discovering new fragrances. You know, people say, oh, you include the same thing in every video and everyone talks about the same thing. Well, it, it's harder than you think to just point at something and say it smells good. I've gotten really good at reading note breakdowns and kind of having an understanding if it's something I'm going to like. But when you're in the cheapy price range, sometimes the note breakdown may not mean anything. The scent still may suck, even though it has a great looking note breakdown. So I'm out here volunteering my money to hopefully find some great hidden gems for you. And that's what this one ended up being. Very misleading bottle. It is not a blue fragrance. It is not an aquatic. It is a woody, warm, and spicy scent. Cedarwood, incense, nutmeg, and pink pepper are some of the main notes. If that note breakdown doesn't hype you up, then I don't know what will. I saw that going into this one and I'm like, okay, either this is gonna be well done, top notch and smell incredible, or the note breakdown is just gonna be kind of like a clickbait and it's not gonna smell hardly that good. And luckily it was the former. This stuff here is awesome. If you want a woody, masculine, spicy scent for the fall time for about $25, look no further. This is a purchase that I am over the moon happy about and not to mention it smells expensive as well. Next up, a fragrance around that same price range from Ajmal. This one is called Kuro. So quite a large bottle. This is only a 100 mil, I believe. Uh, yeah, actually it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure this is a 100 mil. Um, it looks bigger than it is, but that's because it's very thin, very flat looking bottle. Um, but what this one is, is a Dior Sauvage clone. So this one has ambergris, lavender, and pepper in here. So yeah, Sauvage note breakdown for sure. Obviously Ambroxan being used here instead of real ambergris, but it has that spiciness, that warmth, that uh, effervescent kind of fuzziness that Sauvage has up in the opening. And it also has that metallic kind of clean, fresh dry down. Smells absolutely incredible and is just about a dead ring. I mean, this kind of uh, has a carbon slash Sauvage smell. Now carbon to Sauvage is also very similar, but there are some differences as well. Mainly being carbon is a bit more well-rounded, a tiny bit more sweet, a little bit more smooth. So it's almost like this has uh, the best of both worlds between those two. And the best part is it's cheaper than both. Uh, this one's about half the price of carbon and carbon is about half the price of Sauvage. So we're really going down here and getting something that's very affordable. And even though it is affordable, it's very inexpensive. The quality is fantastic. You know, I really, really am impressed by this one. To me, this can hang with the Prada in terms of the quality, in terms of the smell. And it can just about hang with Sauvage as well. I mean, they've done a killer job here. Brands have gotten really good at replicating this DNA and Ajmal, uh, hats off to them because they killed it. So that one smells expensive and 5X its price, not only because the quality is good, but also because it smells like Sauvage. So it's a win-win. Next up, we have Low 2 Kenzo 
by Kenzo. Grapefruit, bitter orange, and spruce are some of the main notes. This one is no stranger to the channel. It's another one of my discoveries that I just kind of came across. Uh, usually how I come across fragrances like this is I browse the fragrance net new arrivals uh, if I can on a daily basis uh, here lately I have been slacking but typically what I'll do a lot of times is I'll start off my day by hopping on fragrance net new arrivals and looking through it's like a task that you can't mess up early in the morning when you're still getting woke up it's something I like to Kind of sip on some coffee and just look through the new arrivals and you'll find fragrances like this and uh, some others here that will show up you know fragrance net will get them in new if you go on fragrance net and sort by most popular best sellers you're going to see the same thing every day so if you go to new arrivals you'll start finding things popping up that you may have never heard of like this one here it'll pop up for a good deal a lot of times it won't even have a picture yet because they just posted it on their website and then i will go look that up nine times out of ten it's going to be on for Grantica. A lot of times the note breakdown looks great and I pick it up and that's kind of one of the ways that I find this stuff and that's what happened here and to me for the price one of the best grapefruit openings on the market for the price on the designer side this is another one that's very inexpensive around I think $30 or so 30 35 depending on what you know was going on with the discounters at that time just about dropped it uh, but the grapefruit opening here is incredible you get the spruce adding a little bit of a woodiness to me, this is bright, effervescent, and absolutely stunning for summertime. And to me, it smells like it's higher end designer level. Next up, we have Lacoste Pour Ohm. Plum, vanilla, and rum are some of the main notes in this one. Uh, another one that's very, very inexpensive. I can't remember exactly what I paid, but I'm pretty sure I've seen these floating around for like $20 or something. Uh, Lacoste, they have some fragrances that are around this price range, $20, $25, whatever. They have some that are maybe closer to $50, so they have a little bit of a spread here in terms of their pricing. Uh, but just because this is on the lower end doesn't make it bad. It's actually really good. It opens up with that plum note, giving it a nice juicy fruitiness that you don't normally get. And then in the dry down, kind of in the base, you get that rum vanilla combination. I can smell it off the atomizer here. It smells incredible. It's a really nice, unique mixture. And normally fragrances in this price range don't have kind of a booziness to that extent, or even much of a sweetness. A lot of times the cheapies will have a tendency to lean in the fresher, citrusy, aquatic direction, simply because those fragrances are way cheaper and way easier to produce. So, you know, when you find something like Azaro Visit, which is not that, even though it may look like it, it's completely different, and uh, some of the other ones here in this video, and you find something that isn't just basic and boring for the price, it's very exciting. And when they turn out great, that's even better. For me, I really like how this one smells. It's very classy, it's very masculine. It's got a clean freshness about it as well. This would be a fantastic signature scent for someone who wants to set themselves apart. Uh, if you want to wear this to work or to school every single day, you can do that. And you're going to be saving a ton of money doing it with this compared to even a $50 fragrance. I mean, if you're legitimately going to wear it every single day for potentially years in a row, like having it your signature scent if you don't want to have a big collection, uh, being able to save 30 or 40 bucks per bottle, that's going to add up. And to me, that Lacoste can easily smell 5X its price. It smells fantastic. Great signature scent, great blind buy. Next up, one of the best coffee fragrances for one of the cheapest prices out there, Rojas Man. Cappuccino, vanilla, and lavender are some of the main notes. Absolutely love it. Uh, this is one that I will reach for and wear a ton, even though I've got more expensive coffee fragrances. I've got Killian Intoxicated, one of my absolute favorites. Moogler's Angel Men, another one of my favorites. But this here is so incredibly well done for the price that it's mind blowing. This is something that I think everyone should have. Even if you're not into this genre yet, say you're coming over from aquatics, freshies, citrus fragrances, which is where a lot of people start out. This is so easy to get into in terms of it being affordable that even if you don't like it right off the bat, you're not gonna be out a ton of money. Don't get rid of it, save it, put it on the back of your shelf, let your nose start to get used to some other things. And I think over time, you would come around to this and absolutely love it. It smells so, so good. Fall and winter time, this smells fantastic. You know, it kind of has almost a little bit of a holidays type of smell to it. 
Thanksgiving, Christmas, and even New Year's, you know, just spending time with family. And usually during this time of year, you're eating a lot of desserts, a lot of treats. It's cold out, probably gonna be drinking a lot more coffee than usual. And so this just matches up perfectly. I could smell this all day, I really could. Probably gonna make it my scent of the day because I can keep spraying that and smelling it all the time. Seriously well done. One of the best bang for your bucks out there on the market, in my opinion, and yeah, without a doubt, easily smells 5X its price. Incredible. Up next, another Lacoste fragrance. This one is Lacoste Pour Homme Intense. Rhubarb, orange, and ginger are some of the main notes. Another killer scent. I really like this one. I really like the original Lacoste Pour Homme. Timeless is pretty good, but to me, it's not really as good as this one in the original. Timeless has a, a tea note that's primary in there. It almost comes across a bit more synthetic to me. So not my favorite, but this one and the original are incredible. What I like about Intense is that it's stronger, so it performs better and it has a bit more of a richness. Now, even though this is an Intense, it is an eau de toilette, but even though it still is a lower concentration there, it does have better performance, better depth, better complexity overall. And if I had to choose between the two, this would probably be the better fragrance for me. But don't get me wrong, I still love how the original comes across. And they both work great on a nice warm spring day or even in summertime as well. It's unique, it's creamy, it's citrusy, it's orangey, it's smooth. Uh, it's a little bit musky, kind of woody, uh, tiny bit sweet from how the orange comes across. A little bit of a spiciness from the ginger. It's very, very well done. Very nice scent, incredible, versatile, great compliment getter, good performer for the price, and to me, one of the best purchases out there on a budget. Last up, we have a fragrance from a brand which normally isn't considered cheap, but this one here has always been one of the more affordable ones, and it's a really, really nice scent. Versace Man Au Fresh. Lemon, bergamot, star fruit, and a whole bunch of musk are some of the main notes. Uh, this, for those who have been around on the channel will know this, but if you're new to the channel, one of my first ever fragrances. So. Uh, like legitimately what I started my collection with was this one here and Nautica Voyage. So I bought them both at the same time. So this technically was one of my first fragrances ever that I bought. Before that, I didn't have any colognes. I had body sprays and like super cheap Rue 21 cologne. That's it. So this along with Voyage was my first taste into real designer perfumery. And uh, I loved them both, but at the time, this one blew my mind absolutely blew my mind i'm like okay this is a cologne like this is something that you can smell and buy i was just so floored you know because i'm used to the body sprays and deodorants and everything else that just smells so harsh and synthetic this is so smooth so bright it has a mediterranean fun tropical freshness about it very musky very masculine just so, so, so pleasant. I love this stuff, man. And it takes me back to when I first started. If it wasn't for this and for Voyage, this wouldn't be here. So a lot of love for this one. And one of the reasons why it was one of my first fragrances is because the price. Even back when I first bought this, it was still around $40 and sometimes a bit under. You can buy a smaller bottle or buy a Tester 100 mil and get it for like 38 And smaller bottle, probably less than that as well. So it is kind of right there on the, uh, the budget for this video, but to me it smells high end, it smells expensive. You know, it kind of gives off a similar happiness and brightness to something like Millicene Imperial by Creed. They don't smell the same, completely different, but I'm just saying that Creed kind of has a, uh, a beachy vibe. It's got this being out on a yacht, classy type of smell, like kind of a similar thing with this one, man. If you're on a resort in Mexico or something, bring this and wear it, wear it every single day and you're gonna have some incredible memories tied up into this scent. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. That is seven cheap fragrances that in my opinion, smell five times the price. These are fantastic and if you buy them from discounters by using the links down below, uh, you can get them for basically next to nothing and you're gonna be smelling like you spent quite a bit. So yeah, they will be linked down below if you wanna pick any of these up and also become a channel member if you want. That's where you can chat with me in a group chat. You can watch these videos in advance. You can get access to vlogs, bonus content, that sort of thing, see what I'm up to. So really appreciate the support, whether you're a member or not. Shout out to my members, you guys are awesome. Shout out to everyone watching this video, you guys are awesome. Thank you for tuning in every day. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.